Welcome back to Let's Play Techno Babylon. We actually didn't have to come downstairs because we're just... whatever. We are going to finish clearing out... wait a second. These guys are... okay, there they go. Guess that proves where they were from. I was about to say they shouldn't still be here. Grav ball, that's what it's called. These are the last two guys we gotta get rid of, and we do it by beating this guy at Grav ball. In the previous video, we tried to play against him. Wait a second. I don't have my needle. I don't have my physical items with me anymore. I've gotta go back out. I wonder if I'll rematerialize here when I come back. Or if I'll be back in the main room. I've got to inject them in meat space and then go in. We've got a needle full of barbiturates that's going to slow this guy down. You got the whole dose. This should be interesting. Now, let's go in and kick his butt. Hi there. What's up? Okay. Get ready to let's be toast. Go. Bring it on. Oh god, I'm still losing. better just I don't I don't feel so good nothing I couldn't handle I don't know what you did but that was worth sticking around to see a deal's a deal I'll log off maybe we'll spar sometime all right that's everybody gone except for me and my contact and now we can talk in private see what it is what her information is she's got don't worry about the bartender he's not real how is your progress it's just you and me server's empty we're alone excellent i feel much safer you going to tell me what's going on now i shall but first tell me why do you enjoy the trance sick beats my man what's that got to do with anything Look, I need your help. My private life is none of your business. Mandala, we've been taking scans of your connection. We have never seen a sync ratio as high as yours. The trance is literally where you belong. We need your assistance. So I'm like the chosen one? I'm Neo. You need my help? What can I do? More than you realize, inshallah. The reason you were targeted is linked to your unusual natural affinity with the trends. They want to kill me because my connection's too fast? Not directly. It goes deeper than that, to the very structure of your brain. Do you recall what Guy was doing in that cell you shared with him? Yeah, he was freaking out, man. Yeah, he was your relay, wasn't he? You were connecting to Cell's systems through him? Precisely. He was a vital part of the operation. But thanks to the psychophage, he is indisposed to us. Let me guess. You want me to be a relay for you? With a sync ratio like yours? The bandwidth would be... incredible. Your hackers would be running petabytes through my wiring. But you'd need me to get close, right? To the systems of the people trying to kill me? Excuse me if I sound a little skeptical, but you're asking me to walk up to the people trying to kill me? You haven't even given me a good explanation for why they're after me. 
I'm sorry, but we don't know a great deal more than you. We need your assistance. Your unique talent with the trance makes you valuable. They hunt you because of it. Turn it against them. So, this will help you discover their plans? <sighs> Fine. What do you need me to do? Shukran, London. Justice shall be done. They operate from an old aerostat terminal, Xanadu Airframe. Head there. We will remain in contact with you. Great, more walking. And now, we must crash the server. Good luck, Mandela. Oh, man. Oh, whoa, no. You just... You just glitched my face out. My eyes. New chapter. No, not a new chapter. What is going on? What is this? Dr. Regis? Hey, Dr. Regis. Hey. Yo. I'm sorry, Nina. I'm just not used to that name yet. Congratulations, by the way. Isn't it kind of old-fashioned, though, taking his name? I think it's romantic. Not a giant leap backwards? He lost his family in the war. Now we're starting a new one. I thought it might help give him some continuity. Speaking of which, you guys planning on having kids? Well, yeah. That's why we froze the embryos. Eventually, yes. We're speaking to a specialist. Oh, right. Hot zone. Who'd have thought living in a hazard region would be such a drag? It's not just Charlie. My work with the inspectors wasn't good for me, either. Going for the test tube baby option, then. It'll be a whole lot easier to screen for anything we might pass down. With Charlie's background, I'm surprised he's not growing them himself. And again, they might go bang if he did it. Too far? Yes. I'll just... Get back to the decompiling. Did you just suggest that my husband would make explosive embryos? That is that what you're saying? That's pretty fucked up, lady. Looks like the engineered nerve tissue is as robust as we'd hoped. Self maintenance. That's the big benefit of organic hardware. All right, we're a bioengineer, we're in a lab. This is in the past. The person we're playing as is dead now. Murdered by that bald guy up there. And there's our husband talking to him. We used to all be friends and co-workers, now... Now it's the I'll future and we're not... get back to the... Can it wait? I'm in the middle of dissecting Dr. Vargas's brain. With the fMRI scanner, of course. <laughs> Dr. Vargas? In here, my dear. What are you doing? Roadman 9 and 46. Dr. Chigwa is mapping my brain activity. In many ways, our product will share more in common with us than other computer platforms. Intermittent rostrocaudal axis patterns. What? Tell me, what do you think would be the best manner to train such an AI? Naturally, it can handle abstractions better than conventional AI. Plus, we have millennia of experience and tradition when it comes to education. I somewhat agree with you. Do you hear that, Gwen? Mm-hmm. Though Dr. Chigwa agrees that conventional programming is impossible, she is considering the possibility of imprinting existing mind states within the platform. Quick for the AI, but utilizing a person's natural experience? Though it may not be my philosophical ideal, it is an intriguing experiment. Ah, it is good to be working with you again, Dr. Pereira. I mean, Dr. Regis. Congratulations again on the wedding. It's been too long since Buenos Aires, Eduardo. You were my brightest student, Fiksha. I felt so conflicted when you were awarded that field position. That feels like so long ago. I was ready for something more sedentary. And this project, it's like nothing else I've ever worked on before. It's groundbreaking, the next big step in artificial intelligence. You must have made some powerful friends in Newton since you left Buenos Aires. I'm surprised they didn't just contract this AI project out to corporate research. The fear, then, is dependence upon the private sector in all future matters. 
However, if we should not succeed, that will be their next option. But that's not gonna happen, is it? I am afraid that we have hit an obstacle. Though we have a solid theoretical groundwork, we cannot proceed. Why not? We've built a gene map for the organic processors. Get Charlie or Dr. Chigwa to run it through a flash clone. Alas, that is where our problem lies. Our plans depend upon the development of neural tissue. The flash clones develop with none for legal and ethical reasons. Uh oh. Are we about to do some illegal science? City Council must have expected something like this eventually. We can petition for a special exception. They'll provide live embryos for research. Certainly possible, though too lengthy. By the time approval has been granted, the project will have exceeded its deadline. Dr. Baxter has a reliable simulation of the AI running in situ. Surely he can pattern it out onto a larger system. While the platform will run magnificently in an organic framework, Trying to emulate it in a simulation has tremendous processing costs. Unless we can finalize the production of an organic matrix, we will fail. There might be another option. Nina gave me the idea. We need normal embryos to engineer, not the flash clones, right? That is our problem. The Council will not be able to provide them quickly enough. Well, Charlie and I have been trying for kids. As a result, we have several fertilized embryos frozen. Viksha, I hope you are saying what I think. We could, perhaps, donate. You do not know what this could mean to us. You have saved us, Viksha. In a way, you may yet be the surrogate mother of the central AI. Whoa, big spike in activity there. You think Charlie will be okay with that? Hey, he spent years modifying embryos himself. I'm sure he'll be all right. Flesh drive. See, it's like a flash drive, but, but made out of flesh. You got in? Yeah. Now to find out who our mysterious benefactor is. Good luck. I'll keep the car moving. Hopefully, Central won't start asking too many questions. Copy that. Regis out. Are you Dr. Regis? Yes. You must be the welcoming committee. They're waiting for you upstairs. It's Bruce Willis. Hold on. Gotta search you first. If that's what it takes. One cell issue charge pistol. It will be kept safely for you until business is concluded. Gee, thanks. You may proceed upstairs. Oh, Lord. Nina, you're the one I've been talking to. You made it at last, Charlie. How are oh, you? Oh, Lord. Is everybody we've ever known going to show up in this game? If I'd known it was you in my head, I'd never have agreed to come. Now, Charlie, that's not fair. Let's put the past behind us. What happened to Vicky affected us all. You've got some nerve. If you think... In fact, the reason I've invited you is to help fix mistakes arising from the project. What do you mean? Allow me to introduce everyone here. Councilman Dean... Good evening, Dr. Regis. Ran Schumann. He don't look like much. Imogen Natalia Ravia Quintanilla de Flores. Charmed, I'm sure. Uh. And I believe you've already spoken to Mr. Stepford here. Oh my, yes. Oh my. All of us are here because of a common cause. The removal of Central. What? I mean, you can't just... It's a difficult proposition, and we need the help of someone like yourself. In exchange, we have the means to assist you with your personal crisis. You've always dreamed big, haven't you, Nina? We know exactly where your offspring are. Don't dismiss us outright. We can help each other, Charlie. Listen to what we have to say. Brr. Hmm. Hey, you all right? Huh. So the waiter is not in good shape. Everyone, take cover! The 
waiter just blew up our party. Is anyone hurt? It's a trap! You try to kill us! Guards! Shut up, Ron. You're still alive, aren't you? It appears that poor Imogen is the only one injured. That looks like more than injured. I'm sorry. She's dead. I knew it! You tried to kill me! All of you! Calm down, Ron. You don't know who was behind this. Actually, he has a point. I shouldn't All have talked to the waiter first. This meeting are in this room. Except, of course, for Charlie. He only joined us at the last moment. Dr. Regis, will you lend us your skill as an investigator? Yeah, you find who tried to kill me! Do this for us, Charlie, and we'll give you everything. We can tell you who has your kids and exactly where he is. Fine. Just remember, I'm not doing this for your sake. Someone here almost killed me as well. Thank you anyway, Charlie. Hmm. I hope we have an autosave. Yeah, okay. I want to talk to everybody before the bomb goes off. So let's go back to an autosave and let's let's do that again and not talk to the waiter. <laughs>